How are you, everybody? This is the Stuttering John political show. We just had a... Uh, <clears throat> no, I know I said I'd be gone, which I am. But during this very... Imp- He's great, man. Uh, now, what does well, this mean? I'll, I'll, give you a, I'll give you a setup and a punchline. Go ahead. Ready? This is Wednesday night after Tim Walls has been announced as the VP candidate. An hour after his speech is done, there are the appropriate parties all over town to celebrate. A And, and here's how it was described. A cop, a convict, a comedian, and a rabbi walked into a bar looking for a congressman. That's the setup. The punchline, of course, it was Eric Swalwell's party at, at the Gwen Hotel. Uh, the cop was Harry Dunn, the Capitol Police officer. The convict was Michael Cohen, and the comedian and the um, and the rabbi were two White House correspondents. And I'll let you decide who they were. And we all walked in, and, and there was a guy who walked up. Uh, I'll never forget this. This guy who had made plans to be in Chicago did not was not aware that the uh, Democratic convention was ongoing and would not sell his, his uh, room when they offered him double the price because he had these free tickets on Southwest to go to Chicago. So he was going. So him and his family were there. He walks down to the lobby bar where this party's going on to pick up his drinks, and he says, what's going on here? And I, I told him, and he looks over, and he goes, I recognize that guy. And I go, well, yeah, that's Congressman Swallow. And he goes, that big guy, I recognize him. And I go, well, that's Harry Dunn. He goes, who's that other guy? I go, I'll introduce you. So he goes over, and he introduces, I introduce him to Michael Cohen, and, and he goes, it's a pleasure to meet you. He goes, you look familiar. Uh, what do you do for a living? He goes, I'm a ward of the Department of Prisons. And he goes, yeah, guarding those prisoners must be tough. He goes, yeah, I know, I'm one of the prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh- uh, uh, oh, oh, it's, you know what, Brian, you know what, the, which kind of reminds me of my favorite joke, which people don't get and or people hate it. But I always liked it. It's like um, a rabbi, a priest and a reverend walk into a bar and the, bar, and the bartender says, is this a joke? <laughs> <laughs> Play the shrimp. Thanks for the two bucks. Don't give the Sandusky Network content. Stay away. I agree. Bo Beardington, my man. Thanks for the tenor. <laughs> welcome back, dude. Uh, welcome back, Duke. Looking fresh and ready to rumble. Thanks, Bo. Another good supporter of mine. Um, I don't know what the, this guy means. Ojeda, why did you lie about the firefighters' coat? First off, for, for YB podcast. Thanks for the ninety-nine cents. Uh, and uh, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, Jay Phoenix. Whatever. I'm just gonna put it up. I don't. Um, uh, 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 Riley Martin, surely you can comment on the Sandusky Network. You have a moral obligation to address ISO's crimes and shit ways repugnance. I don't have any obligation to address anything because I really don't. I, I mean, it's it's none of my business. Mike, shitty internet provider. Joey C is a new dude. Good, good. <laughs> uh, just trying to get through. Why is he reading super chance while he has guests? What a moron this guy is. Total idiot. Some of these guys, well, like, well we... Uh, 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 I don't have any sock accounts. So there you go. No socks. I don't even know what they are. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I was never getting anybody anything. Uh, 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 let's see if we have anything intelligent to say. No, you don't. Uh, uh, let's see, the Looney Tunes uh, critic member for 10 months, Brian. Richard. <laughs> John, glad you're back and we learned our lesson. You have my word. No one will ever mess with you again. We respect the way you ran away. Yeah, it's not running away. It, it, you know, I, I don't want, I shouldn't even defend this, but uh, when, when they when they start calling the comedy clubs that they're working at and getting gigs canceled because they threatened by. Never happened. Lie and delusion. Never happened. Liar. Once against women. When they start calling LAUSD to try and get... Never happened. You even said, said so. You're such a dumbass. You can't remember your own lies. Stupid motherfucker. He fired and and succeed when they start calling the... You even said you were never fired. Come on, make up which lie is going to be the good one clubs that I go to, when they start delivering shit to my family that is unwanted, then I think they... You accepted it all, you dumbass. And as long as it was paid for, you didn't care what it was, you took it. So, another liar. Made it a little too personal, don't you? I do. Thank you. Get the fuck out of here. Are you fucking with me? 
Anyway, back to the uh, action here. <laughs> Let's get to. For the last speeches, uh, everyone's uh, it's just, it's so fucking mundane. Uh, you know, you know what, what drives me up a wall. Now I, I'll tell you, Brian, this is true, and I've been saying this about Jay, and and this is Jay on Adam Carolla, and I'm telling you, Brian, this is what a great guy and great boss that Jay Leno is. Was I was making thirty million a year? It was ridiculous. Right. Next show, um, I, I was making thirty million a year. It was ridiculous. Uh, okay, and NBC said, "Well, we're going to have to cut half the crew." You know, so we had a big meeting. I said, "All right, but show of hands, how many feel I should take a fifty percent pay cut so we can keep everybody?" Well, I got outvoted, and I said, <laughs> "That's not why I get screwed on that one." But really. I already have fifteen million dollars. I'm I'm doing pretty good. You know, I never thought I'd get this far. And you know something? They were the best crew for the rest of the days. The legend is is that you always kept all those Tonight Show checks oh, yeah, and yeah. made your money doing live performances yeah, and I, corporate I, things and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I used to live week to week. Did you literally just put those checks, you know, I in the bank I, and never I lived on the money I made as a stand up. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to be a comedian. I, how many life. years did you do that? Until the very end, I never touched any of it. Doing the Tonight Show, I, I, I was making thirty million a year. It was ridiculous. You know, I'm just like Brian. I mean, talk well, about a couple of hundred and fifty. <laughs> you know, Brian, talk <laughs> about a great guy. He takes a fifty percent pay cut so we could all get paid, and and so he could keep us all there. And you got a hundred grand when you got fired. Bonus didn't give your family a penny. Spent it within a year, and you're a broke motherfucker now with nothing. Good work. You didn't learn anything. Jay said he never touched it. He put it, put it in the bank all those years. So he probably put away $300 million. What do you have, John? $300? I don't think so. Till the end. Now that is a fucking mensch, bro. You yeah. <laughs> know? in Key West, where um, I I went to the gym, I swam laps in the pool, swam in the uh, Gulf, in the very tur turquoise blue Gulf, and enjoyed my time, so it, it was very nice. Thank you, Finris. Then I'll play one more speech. Bullshit. Uh, mm. Davy Cakes. Was anyone at DNC aware that you are texting all of us far too much? I wonder if it got to any of the higher ups. Was anyone at DNC aware that they are texting all of us far too much? I wonder if it got to any higher ups. I don't know what that means. He says he doesn't know what that means. It means. He knows exactly what it means. He's scared. He ain't talking. Uh, My mother would. Because uh, I am, um, I am a Democrat, and I'm proud of it. I'm a liberal, and. Old Craig, my man. Hunter Biden's crack pipe, my man. Gold fold, Drew Peanuts. Suffering John Clips, my man. Donkey Brains, Vegas Beer, Settle Scary, my man. Locks and Docks. Ozen Pig. SJ Snot Rocket, aka SJ Internet Lawyer. Dom Adams. Secret Gorilla. Danny. Hunter Biden's crack pipe, my man. Paul Leach, Jay in Japan, e two three twenty. Isolino, R, you were arrested. 
and March 23rd, 2023. Sorry to hear that. And that's it. All right, everybody. I'll see you next Sunday. This is Stuttering John saying, Gagia.